Here they want us to factorize. So remember with factorizing, there are four types in grade nine, common factor. I always like to start there. Next, I, I like to look for difference of two squares. Next, I look for trinomial. And next, I would look at grouping. Okay, so I always start at common factor. If I scan through these three terms, is there any common term or number that you could take out? Well, yes, there actually is. The number three goes into all of those. So I take out the number three. And so what would I have left? X squared minus 7x plus 10. Why? Well, if you had to imagine yourself putting it back, that would give you 3. That would give you negative 21. And that would give you 30. So everything looks good. The next step, that's definitely not going to get you 3 marks. The next step is... I would look at, okay, there's definitely not difference of two squares. That only works if you have two terms. It could be a trinomial. In fact, it is. Here you've got an x squared, here you've got an x, and here you've got a number without any x. So that is perfect for trinomial. So I'll open up two brackets. Now, when we look at this trinomial, how do we do this? The way we do a trinomial is you start with this number. It's a 10. And I want you to write out all the ways that you can make 10. 10 times 1, 5 times 2. Now, looking at those combinations, we've got to somehow try and make the number minus 7. How could we do that? Well, I could use these two to make minus 7. I could say minus 5 minus 2. That gives me minus 7. So I say um, x and x, because that gives me the x squared, and then minus 5 and minus 2. So this is the same as that, okay? And there's not much more we can do, so that would be your final answer. If on the memo you maybe see that this bracket is before this bracket, the order of your brackets does not make any difference.